Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, I'm going to show you how I make simple lyric videos uh, for some musician friends of mine so that they can get their music out there uh, while we are stuck away and can't really do many live in-person music videos. This is a great way without any plugins or anything else to just take some stock footage and to you know add the lyrics on top of it, put the track together, and have something that, that works pretty well. So this is how I do that process. So I always get started with, I pull the song in, uh, on the you know the audio track, uh, you know an MP3 will work for this, but you really want to have a higher quality audio file if possible, a WAV file or an AF file. Uh, if if you can get a hold of that, that be that's even better. Uh, then I always will put down um, this uh, just a straight black background uh, for the full length of the of the song. This is so that any chopping that I do of the tracks or of the video tracks above, they don't. Um, you know, cause any timing issues with anything that I've previously done. This keeps everything in sync, and it also gives you a good way just to fade to black if you need to do that for uh, one of the transitions. And so next, I will listen to the song several times, look at the lyrics, uh, and then I'll go onto a site like Storyblocks where I have a subscription, and I will type in keywords and, you know, try to find uh, clips that convey the story and the feeling of the song that I feel like the artist is trying uh, you know, to put out there. Um, I'll download a lot of clips and sort of you know, see how they fit together um, and start to piece them together to be able to tell the story. This particular one, you know, he wanted a lot of, of rain and, you know, um, weather type stuff, you know, cloudy weather, but everything is going to be okay. You know, so sometimes, you know, you'll find a long clip like this for the entire chorus. That's great. Oftentimes, I try to keep it to, you know, 10 seconds or so at the maximum uh, for a particular clip. Uh, after that, I just go through, and for the most part, I just use the basic title um, and pick a nice font and, you know, a location on the screen of where it doesn't, you know, necessarily interfere with, um, with the subject of the video. And I'll just, you know, type out the lyrics, or sometimes you'll have them, you know, in a document that you can copy-paste, just... If you type them yourself, make sure you do a spell check or something so that, you know, you're not putting a video out there with misspelled words that the artist really wouldn't like. That's not very cool. So, um, you know, uh, I just kind of begin to put all of these in here and line everything up. You know, it takes a bit of time to do that to make sure that, you know, they are on the screen at the same time that the singer, you know, is saying the words. Um, there is um, another title that I use sometimes, this one right here, that was something free I found online. Um, I think it's inspired by a chain smokers video or something. Um, I will use it occasionally, just kind of throw it in. It's fairly limiting as far as um, you know how these move on the screen, uh, but they're nice to use sometimes. I'll put a link in the description um, so that anybody can grab that from uh, the place that I found it. Um, but in general, I just kind of go through, I put the clips in place, try to tell the story. I pull the text um, into the screen, try to have a lot of movement, a lot of light. Um, you know, sometimes I'll do Luma transitions like this, but, but very often they're just straight, you know, fades. Um, this cross-dissolve uh, transition is what I use the most. Uh, sometimes I will take a couple of clips like this and I will do uh, an overlay. So like this has a blend mode of overlay with, you know, the opacity is brought down. And I'll set keyframes so that I can, you know, bring the opacity up or down as needed. And so I'm kind of, you know, blending in this you know, tornado or this storm cloud here with this guy in the rain with his arms raised up in, the, in a V. Just two clips I found that really kind of fit together. And so I kind of try to blend things like this together um, along with the lyrics just to kind of add some more emotion and tell some more story with the song. So this is pretty much how I do the majority of my lyric videos. I really don't charge very much for this, just a few hundred dollars. because As you can see, it's not a whole lot of effort. You know, um, if you have a subscription to something like Storyblocks or some other service that gives you um, you know, royalty-free stock footage that you're free to use for whatever purpose. Just make sure that whatever you use that you're licensed for, otherwise, you know, you don't want to get the artist in any kind of trouble for that. So I hope that you learned something from this and that, um, you know, you can make some lyric videos on your own. And make sure to subscribe if you like this type of stuff. Um, I've got more tutorials like this on the way. And thanks for watching.